everyone, Moonlight Fairy here. I have quite a special video for you guys today because I'm going to be going through my whole, I think, three year fursuit making progress. I have made a ton of awful suits throughout these three years and I think only recently have I been starting to really improve. So if you're a new maker and you don't think your suits are any good, please, I urge you, do not give up. There are some amazing things you're going to accomplish in the future. Just keep on doing it. Even if you get hate, you're going to get better. So do not stop. Anyway, with that being said, um, I'm going to get straight in with the first suit I ever made. It was actually not really a fursuit as it was made with paper, <laughs> but first up we have P. I didn't even make like him into a fursona. I just decided to grab some green card and some black card and just create a random paper head because I wanted a suit that bad. He was made in around October 2016 and yes, I know that was nearly four years ago but I did take a year long break so I'm just not including that. The next one is one I made a few days later. It was actually again made of paper but I put like this horrible wool material on top. It's this head right here. My mum hated this. She was terrified of it and I honestly don't blame her. This was just, it was uncomfortable, it looked hideous, it was just disgusting <laughs> and I never wore it again and it just went straight in the bin. And then Moonlight was created and this is her first suit. This is what it looked like when I first did it before I redid the eyes and stuff. I was at, I was so proud at, at the time because it was my first time ever doing a pattern and cutting it out. I did not sew it. I just glued the pieces straight on. Here's another picture. It was just awful and I honestly was so proud and now I look back and think that is disgusting. Why did I wear that? And I'm not surprised that the, unbo the unboxing video got so much hate on it and the comments got removed. <laughs> but yes, I've certainly improved since her. Next up we have, it was barely even finished, it was a toothless quad suit. Uh, I don't really know what to talk about with this one, it was just, I really wanted to make a quad suit and I love toothless, but it just didn't happen. I started it, I rushed it, it only took about an hour to get these foam bits done and I literally did nothing after the day after, I just completely ditched it and it all went in the bin. Now we have the first pause I ever made right here. I was really proud of these once again. First pause I ever made and they were the worst. It felt like you couldn't move your fingers because I did it out of rock solid foam. And I was like, Ugh. no, no, it was not fun to wear. And I sold them. Someone actually bought them. Why? I'm just, I feel bad for the people who bought my suits back then. But honestly, considering they were cheap, I mean, you get what you pay for, so. But I made these probably around Christmas 2016 or something like that. I don't really know. Now, this is when I consider myself, I don't know, a bit selfish maybe because I forced my friend into the fandom basically when he didn't really want to be in it and I created him this character called Regan and the suit as you can see is horrendous I made him out of this beanie just a, like a beanie hat stuck a thin bit of foam on it and I just covered like the front of its face in fur, but not the ears and not the cheeks or whatever, I can't really remember. But in my opinion, I hate it, I think. Oh, I don't even know. It's just, I'm so glad it's in the bin. To be honest, I think he's, he's either still got it at his house, oh my gosh, after four years, or it's got to be in the bin by now. He can't still have it. <laughs> oh my God. Right, this is the next thing that I'm actually proud of and they were Moonlight's feet paws. Yes, I still own them and they are down the side of my bed somewhere down there. 
I wore them to my last con and my last meetup. This pick again. I've not made feet paws since. I didn't sew the um, fur together like I did with the paws and stuff back then, but it was just glued on and you know, I'm still proud of them. I really need to update them though. Next up is the first bodysuit I ever made and I haven't made one since. It was Moonlight's bodysuit, I have to say. Considering it was my first bodysuit, I think I did a pretty good job. The only problem was it was like really baggy under here and then it got really tight around the wrists, which, you know, not too good. But this was one of the best things I did make back then. Um, obviously the fur felt horrible because I bought this awful fur, but overall it was okay. Next up is my brother's character, Sunlight. <laughs> oh my gosh, I... <laughs> Once again, I forced him into the fandom. I feel so bad for forcing all these people into the fandom. Basically, I just, you know, created the opposite of Moonlight, which was Sunlight. The suit wasn't too bad. The only thing that I would change again were the eyes and obviously the sewing fur stuff. But yeah, I quite like Sunlight. The design was very simple though, as well as Moonlight. Next we have Wild Cherry, my first Dutch Angel Dragon suit and I've not made one since again. I um, basically just made it with the furs I had left over which were the red and brown. It was a mouth mover which didn't turn out too well and it guess what it was made of? It was made of super glue and sellotape. Super glue and sellotape? You heard me right. Why would you make this suit with super glue and sellotape? Oh, what was I doing? Well, anyway, I didn't sell it, thank God. But I didn't keep it. It went in the bin mid 2017, maybe. What was I thinking? I was just so desperate to have a suit and I just made Wild Cherry. <laughs> Next is Misty. This suit is owned by someone on Instagram, I'll put it right here, there at, and this is the suit. I'm not a big fan, um, well, I was quite proud of the suit when I made it, but I just think it looks super ugly. I'm sorry to the person who purchased her, she was really cheap. Once again, you get what you pay for. That's Misty. Next we have another pair of paws. Except this isn't with the foam, this is actually sewing. Right here. They weren't puffy, they were just completely flat and the basic design. But overall, you know, they were sewn, they were secure. Next, we have another pair of paws, but they are red instead. They're basically exactly the same as the paws I've just told you and they were made about two days afterwards. I don't know how I forgot to mention this, but Moonlight 2.0 comes in here. She was made in February 2018, and this is what she looks like. Now we have my first commission, which were these white and brown paws. I can't remember again who purchased them, but it was someone on Etsy. It was my first time doing like different coloured fingertips and they were really tight around the fingers, it was not good. But once again overall, not too bad. Next we have yet again another person who I forced into the fandom suit, Lou. I actually did an unboxing video with them, it's still on my channel. She... I don't know if she liked it or not, but she did actually follow a few fursuit accounts on Instagram after, but I sold the suit in possibly early 2018 about. I was quite proud of the suit. The eyes looked horrific though. The fur wasn't sewn. Once again, a lot of stuff I would improve. Next we have a toothless head I was working on and wings. I still have the wings. I haven't worn them in about two years though. I made in 2018. I don't really know what to say. I don't know what happened to the head, I think it just went in the bin. But I still own the wings and I should probably show you guys one day. Now we have my very first head commission. Um, this one's very unfortunate because the owner's house burnt down. I don't know, I don't know if you're watching, but if you are, I'm terribly sorry for that loss. I think they're active now. But you know, you could give them some support. I'm sure they're okay now. But this is the head. 
as it was my first commission year, I was so hyped. I was like, oh yeah, this is awesome. And I was really proud of this head. Um, I did not um, sew the fur together. I glued it again. They were okay with it though. They told me it was fine, so I did. And yeah, that's Starlight. Now we have a Halloween suit that I wanted to make in 2018 called Darklight. He appears a few times on my YouTube channel and my brother's younger friend wore him for... I think it was kind of like a Q&A but it wasn't. It was just talking about fairies and me asking him questions. You can check that out, the link will be in the description. But this is Darklight. It was okay. Now we're sort of getting to the part where I'm starting to improve. I got this head. The base was not made by me. This is the base. Basically, I just purchased a base because I couldn't be bothered to foam one myself. But I did sew the fur. I was absolutely terrified because it was my first time ever doing this. And I was scared it was going to go horrific, it was going to go awful. But it actually turned okay. And the fur I used, it is not luxury. It doesn't feel the nicest. And I am looking forward to refurbing her one day to give her a bigger lower jaw. It's not very big. And give her a nice soft fur, which would be lovely. But yes, this is the head. The only head I did in 2019. I did go to a few comms and meets in her though. And I'm very happy with her, I love her. Okay, now let's just skip all of 2019 because I did nothing then. But the very start of this year, a year back, I agreed to do a trade with Ash the Floofy, right here. This is the suit I made for them, and that's the suit they made for me, which I did an unboxing of, which will also be in the description. And i got to tell you, I was so proud of this when I first made it earlier this year. Him, even. <laughs> it's a boy. Right here. Looking back, I didn't have my clippers, so the fur is really like bumpy and I didn't use luxury fur because it costed a lot <laughs> and I wasn't aware of the website I get fur from and stuff. But once again, I was very happy and the best suit I'd done so far. Now we are on to the third last suit I've done, which is this blue um, arctic wolf about three weeks ago. Already I have spotted things that I could have fixed or dated on but it was still the best well-made one I'd ever made so far. The fur was all sewn. The only issue is that I didn't use luxury blue, I only used luxury white. I was really really happy with it and this is the new owner. Go follow them on TikTok. Okay next we have the one in this box. This head is another trade, I only finished it last week and I love her. For ages I couldn't decide whether I wanted to keep her, sell her or trade her and I've decided to trade her with this person. Go follow them, please go follow them. And I cannot wait to get that suit in a few weeks or whatever. No, this is the best head I've ever done. I had over 50 pieces to stitch up hand sew. It took so long, but it was so worth it because I'm really proud of the suit. Ah! So I hope you guys like her too, and I wish I could show you guys, but she's in this box ready to go. <laughs> now we're on the very last one that I have ever done so far, and it is this commission that I'm working on. It is a black and red coyote for someone on Etsy. The red felt... I mean fleece hasn't come for the nose yet but all the fur is cut out and I have sewn the snout and all these dots but yeah this is the commission I'm working on at the minute <laughs> and the last suit of my collection I have one more commission after this and then I've got a few slots open so message me I've learned so so much over the years what to do and what not to do. If you guys want any tips, ask me in the comments and I'll try my best to answer them. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and my first suit making progress. I'd love to see some of yours. You can follow me on Instagram and message me 
some of your first week making pictures. I'd love to see them. Hope you all have a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Oh.